Imagination, a guided reflection in the way of Mary. Imagination is a critical part of our faith. God calls us to become a deeper version of ourselves, to grow in faith. Imagination can be a doorway to what God desires for us, a way of being more fully present in the world and more connected to who we truly are. This is not a one-sided mode of communication where God dictates from above. God is not a dictator. God is love. God exists as a community of persons, each playing a part. God imagines for us a loving path inviting us to participate in a divine plan. God wants us to co-create with him. In Genesis chapters 1 and 2, we read that God created the heavens and the earth in six days. When we open ourselves and allow God into ourselves, into our lives, something mysterious happens, something hidden, something unknown. Mary said, Here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Yet at the end of the gospel, the angel departed. It is often in the absence, in the deserts of our lives, where the greatest transformation occurs. Blessed are the poor, for theirs is the kingdom of God. God comes to us disguised as our lives with all the ups and the downs. For surely I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord to the prophet Jeremiah, plans for your welfare and not for harm, to give you a future filled with hope. God spoke these words when the Jewish people were taken away into exile to Babylon. Similarly, in Isaiah, God says, do not fear. For I have redeemed you, and I have called you by name, and you are mine. Close your eyes for a moment. Breathe in through your nose, and out through your mouth. Breathe in through your nose, and out through your mouth. Imagine the angel Gabriel appears to you in this moment, in your time and place. Gabriel says to you, Greetings, favoured one. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among all people. Imagine a conversation between you and Gabrielle. Keep breathing. What questions does Gabrielle ask? Keep breathing. How does Gabrielle challenge you? Keep breathing.
what feelings arise in you. How are you called? How do you respond? Here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be done to me according to your word. And then the angel departed from you. Pause for a moment in this space. What comes next? Imagine. Where are you called? What are you called to? Not just prayer, not just saying yes, but in the ordinary moments of your life, imagine Imagine these ordinary moments. In what ways does God call you? Imagine. Who are you? Imagine. And who is God to you? Imagine. What is important to who you are, imagine.
hold on to these moments, these ordinary moments, what aspects and roles of who you are a part of God's plan for you? Imagine. God says to you, you are my beloved daughter or son with whom I am well pleased. Throughout the day, imagine God's plan for you and recall. Be aware of God's presence as God helps you create and mold your day. A day that now becomes the eighth day of creation. A day you co-create with God, with imagination, in the way of Mary. Amen.